nothing can break me. Hi guys, I'm Emma. Hey guys, I'm John, and we're Emma John, you're welcome. Welcome back if you've been here before, and if you're brand new, then thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you like to stick around and join us in all of our adventures. You do that by hitting the little subscribe button. Just in the corner, you know what to do. If you do hit the subscribe button, then please make sure to turn the notification bell as well, and then you'll be notified every single time that we post. Absolutely. Um, so, if you've been here a little while, then you might already know, and if you've not been here, then you probably won't know, but we just got off the Disney Magic cruise ship. We have the staycation cruise on board Disney Magic. It was amazing. We'll leave them in the corner somewhere. Go and check your vlogs out. We really, really enjoyed this house. So go and check them out. Yeah, we did. <laughs> um, so we want to talk today a little bit about Paolo's, which is a paid dining experience for the Disney Magic. I know different ships have different paid dining experiences, yep. um, but we only obviously have experienced this one. So we wanted to talk a bit about that, to see if it's worth it for you if you're going to go on a cruise. Absolutely. We've got categories. Of course we've got categories. We love a good category. So yeah, we're just going to go through a list and tell you what we thought. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we wrote down was what is Paolo's, which we've already kind of touched on, obviously. Um, so it's a paid dining experience above the Disney Magic. It is, yeah, I think it's the only paid dining experience on the Magic. Other bigger ships has got um, two paid dining experience on board their, their ships. But like Emma said, it's the only one on, um, on Magic. Mm -hmm. So we paid $45 per person for brunch. I believe it's a little bit more expensive for dinner. But I'm not 100% sure. So I'll leave that up here, yep. the price of dinner. Um, <laughs> and I think they only offer brunch and dinner. Okay, yeah, we went about half past 11 in the morning. Um, by the time we started eating, maybe it was about 12 ish, quarter two maybe. Um, and I personally think that was a good time for us. Mm -hmm. So the next category that we've written down is atmosphere. Um, we wanted to talk a little bit about like how it feels, what it's like, what it's decorated <laughs> like. Um, so when you walk in, You've got the little reception. Um, it's kind of in its own area as well. So there are like staircases to other floors. Yeah. But as you come up to the Palo floor, which I believe is floor nine, <laughs> but I also could be making that up. Maybe ten. It I might be know. ten. I think it's ten. <laughs> anyway, the that kind of lobby area there is all decorated like Palos, yeah. which is all kind of like golds and reds. It's really fancy. Re really nice um as you walk in you got some masks on the right hand side on the wall and um, we've got some footage of it so we insert on a green screen um yeah the whole place just looks nice you got big and windows overlooking the back of the ship so you can see the, the sea and the boats if you like enough to see a boat go past or mm -hmm. all your scenery it's lovely it's really quiet um the, the quietest restaurant on board the magic um, because obviously it's less people that's what you're paying for an exclusive feel restaurant maybe um yeah the whole atmosphere is quiet and fancy and posh and just sophisticated maybe yeah so when we went it was obviously like half 11 like john said and it was really quiet yeah. like i wouldn't even say a quarter full no, they were, no. Like, they were only seating people by the window, which was nice. It meant we got a nice view. Um, but it did also mean that the restaurant was a lot quieter, <laughs> which is nice, but also a little awkward sometimes, I suppose. I liked it. I, I liked to hear the person I'm speaking to you because yeah. I, I'm a bit deaf and I go, what, what, in a, in, in a noisy restaurant. So it's nice that you can hear the conversation yeah, and, and enjoy the atmosphere and, and not feel like you're shouting at the person. Yeah, yeah, no, it was fancy, it was nice, it was posh. And um, we did want to touch on the dress code as well. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. So they like, they have a dress code. They <laughs> do. Um, I don't think they're overly strict. Um, I went OTT, I just chucked a suit on and a shirt. Um, but I don't think you need to go that that extent. I think you could get away with just a polo shirt and, and jeans maybe. I don't think you're allowed to wear shorts and trainers. Um, so I don't think it's overly strict, but there is a dress code. Yeah, I think it's a little bit easier for girls. Um, that is one thing that I thought they could probably tone down on. Um, because it's nice, because it's a fancy restaurant to get dressed up. However, I do feel like men can be dressed up with <laughs> shorts on. Absolutely, like you, you can. can yeah. dress nice with shorts on, and also, especially like brunch time, brunch time, <laughs> especially at brunch, yeah. because you know it's you've then got the rest of the day to go. So then you we had to go and get changed again. Absolutely, so. I don't know why I sit with this because I quite like dressing up to go to a nice restaurant in normal life. I quite like to dress up to go somewhere. And you feel like you're going out, you're making it an occasion out of it. So I quite like that. Mm. However. Considering these cruises go to warmer climates, I don't know how I'd feel about that in a warmer climate like Florida. You know, would I want to put trousers on 
in at 11 o'clock in the morning to go to a restaurant? Probably not. Um, so I don't know how I sort of feel about that. I quite like your dress code, I quite like having a dress code and if it makes it feel the fancy place that you are going to, but in certain circumstances I think, well, hmm, I don't know if, if, if that's the right time to do that. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it really. Yeah, but overall <laughs> it was fancy. It was I fancy, really atmosphere. nice. Yeah, I the atmosphere, in my opinion, you, you could hear the music going off in the background, nice nice and quiet. Um, like Emma said, there was, there was no one there. For me, that's a perfect atmosphere. Um, so moving on to the food, I do just want to mention because I think this probably will change back at some point. So if you're watching this video in the future, um, the menu options will be different. But when we were on the cruise, there was no buffet option. It was all from the menu. And yeah. I know before, Pal Palos has been like part buffet, part menu. Yeah. So just to touch on that, we <laughs> chose completely from the menu. We did, yeah. And I think, talking for both of us, I think we prefer that than, than a, a buffy type. Mm -hmm. um, we quite like to be seated and choose from the menu rather than one person be off getting their food and you just sat there on your own. Um, I prefer off the menu. Yeah. So it worked perfectly for us. Well, I don't necessarily class a buffet as fancy. Like, no. it's not that we completely hate buffets. Yeah. We don't particularly like <laughs> character buffets. That's true. And that's kind of put us off a little bit. Yeah. But I think if like Palos was a buffet, I think we'd manage. But Absolutely. I wouldn't necessarily class a buffet as fancy. So I don't know how that would mesh for me, actually. No, true. Yeah, I, the only problem I got with a buffet is that one person sat on their own or you you away from your party of what you, you know so you're always away from the conversation yeah um and then i wouldn't class a buffy as posh and that is a posh fancy yeah restaurant so i don't know how that would fit for me either perhaps yeah. it perhaps it is but then i don't know you know it can be i suppose so yeah, yeah it'd be i'd be interesting to do it again when Try the buffy type yourself. yeah yeah, but we didn't have the buffet, so we had the menu. Um, and yeah. so obviously we went at brunch, and there were lots of breakfast items on there. Oh, we think you had eggs Benedict to start. We were trying to figure out what John had to start, and I think yeah. it was eggs Benedict. But there were lots of breakfast menus on there, and they were encouraging you to kind of pick um, an antibasti. So there was like a meat one and a fishy one. Yep. Um, we chose a fish one. We did. Which is strange for us actually to choose a fish. I one. really enjoyed that. Um, the fishy, I think they had all different types of fish on there. Yeah, they had, they had like crab, tuna, they had lobster, yeah, yeah, tuna, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Um, and that was really nice. We shared that. Um, and yeah, I had an egg Benedict to starters. Um, it was really, really nice. Um, probably the best egg Benedict I've ever had, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, we're definitely a thumbs up for that. Yeah. You had um, the strawberry Mickey waffle, of course, you did. Yeah, um, it was. <laughs> Really nice, it was great. <laughs> That's why we went there. And we've been on about this waffle for ages. <laughs> I will admit, I saw it had jam in it and it didn't. It just had strawberries in okay. it, but it was still very, very good. Um, yeah, so we had those and then, so they were encouraging you to pick like an antipasti uh, kind of starter and then yeah. like a main of sorts. Um, so I went with uh, calzone. You did, and I went for a chicken parmesan. Um, I think it was called, it was amazing. It was really, really nice. Um, I thought I was going to go for a steak, but I ate a lot of steak on board at other restaurants, so I decided to go for someone else, and the chicken stood out to me. Um, and it was amazing. The food was incredible. It was so nice, so tasty, um, but really big, really big. And I don't know, because I'm saying I was really full up that day, I couldn't finish it, um, but it was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> um, the calzone, I actually, it was fine. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Like it wasn't bad. I just there are other things on the menu that were a lot better. But the menu was big. Like there were yeah. lots of things to choose from, which we found um, there wasn't as many choices in some of the other restaurants. Yeah. So that was nice because although I picked a calzone and I I enjoyed it, but like not the best. Yeah. You know, although I did that, there were plenty of other things I could have chose from. Um, they also had really nice desserts in there. But you, you could have said to your server as well, and then you would have got your oh, yeah. house. So yeah, because it wasn't your cup of tea. I just was, didn't have any cheese in it. <laughs> there was definitely we could have said, can we? try something else and they would have absolutely done that for you yeah yeah, yeah we didn't need to because i'd already had a waffle <laughs> but yeah and then you obviously have the dessert option as well yes now that's when it falls down for me i had the tiramisu it was nice i'm not very big on desserts um so it's my least favorite part of the meal um 
However, if you like your desserts and you like to turn my shoe and stuff, I'm sure it would be amazing. Yeah, I like desserts. I had a chocolate cakey thing with <laughs> like a chocolate sauce. And to be fair, ice yours looked really good. It yeah. was really good. Uh, the ice cream was coffee flavour, which <laughs> absolutely not. Again, they would have. They did say that you would have replaced yeah. different flavour ice cream if you asked for it, and we didn't ask. For yeah, that. I actually couldn't figure out what flavour the ice cream was. I knew <laughs> yeah. I didn't like it, yeah. but I wanted to know what it was. And he said, "Oh, it's coffee," and I said, "Oh, that makes sense because I don't like coffee." And he said, "Oh, yeah. I can swap it straight away." And I was like, "Oh no, don't worry because that makes no sense to me." <laughs> but yeah, they offered to swap it. But the menu overall and the food quality and the taste and you know how it was cooked, I yeah, it was great. Absolutely, yeah food quality that can pretend the way it was cooked incredible you couldn't get any better it was so nice mm -hmm. um so the next thing we've written down is customer service yes i love a great customer service i think it makes a restaurant and i think it says a lot about the customer service when they look what you wear and i had a black trousers black shoe on and they've been out a black napkin because i was wearing black you had a white because you was wearing white or something light mm -hmm. um I love that detail, I and mean, that's just a it's really small that you can do, but it's that te that detail that they go to to make your experience great. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah, I mean, Disney customer service is great anyway. Yeah. Um, and we obviously were sat down, they do your pulley chair out thing, yeah. which I always find a little bit <laughs> awkward, but it's <laughs> nice, I guess. Um, our server was brilliant, um, they were giving us their recommendations. Absolutely. Um, Nothing was rushed, we didn't feel rushed at all, um, we were sat there for a good while. Absolutely, yeah, we must have been in there about an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we didn't wasn't rushed at all, it was amazing. Yeah, they did all the check backs but it wasn't like constantly checking back yeah. and I I like that you ordered most things before. We just ordered our desserts last, I think. <laughs> yes. But we ordered everything, so we just brought it out. They asked how you wanted it brought it out. Do you want everything all together? Do you want everything separate? You yeah, know. and we like it all together. Just mm. dug into it. The only problem with that, because there's two of us, we had a small ish table. We just had, there was no room on the table. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of food, a lot of drink, and yeah, um, there was not uh, enough space on the table. Yeah. Um, but that's just a downside of going with just two people, you have a small table. Yeah, and also I felt like we were left, uh, this is going to sound like a negative, but I don't mean it as a negative. We were left alone, which sometimes, you know when you're in a restaurant and they're constantly like, is everything all right? And yeah. they wait until your mouth's full and then they come <laughs> over and, and you're like, yeah. First possible time. Yeah, <laughs> and it didn't feel like that. Like, if they were around and you could be like, oh, hello, excuse me, yeah. if you wanted them. Um, and they were checking back, but it also felt like we had a lot of time to just enjoy our experience. What so. I think is a testament to their customer service because I think that to find that balance of checking in too much or leave you to it to enjoy yourself, mm -hmm. you get that right. That's great customer service, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, so the customer service is great. So our last um, category then is, was it worth it? Yeah, okay, so your thoughts? I don't know, I'm always a little bit controversial <laughs> with these things. So the, the things I'm thinking about, let me just explain my thought process, is it was $45. Yeah. Um, personally, I, do, I didn't eat $45 worth of food. 100% didn't. No, I don't think we both did. No. Yeah. So in that sense, it's not. Um, but I think it depends what you want from it. So if you want like a nice date night or you know if you're on a longer cruise, we were only on the cruise for three days. Yes. So we definitely could have done without it. We could have enjoyed the other restaurants, we could have gone to Cabanas. Um, if you're on a longer cruise, I think it is a nice breakaway yeah. to go and do. So yeah. I think it completely depends. I think probably not on a short cruise like we did, yeah. um, although it was a nice experience and I'm glad we did it. I think it definitely would be worth it for me to not go to Cabanas one day and just go and relax yeah. there. Okay, I agree with most of that. Um, definitely we didn't eat $45 worth of food. Completely agree with that. However, what you're paying for, in my opinion, is the atmosphere, is the experience. And I think the atmosphere, the experience of that dining this place, of that restaurant, mm -hmm. was amazing. Yeah. The customer service, the food, the, and it was chilled completely chilled out for an hour and a half two hours it yeah. was lovely we came out of there being oh that's amazing we enjoyed it you did get a complimentary drink um with it we didn't mention in the menu it was champagne or a... i want to call it a book's fizz <laughs> but it's not it's got a name yeah but it was like an orange juice <laughs> champagne it was yeah i went for champagne you went for that orangey drink whatever it is <laughs> um yeah in my opinion i was glad we done it i really enjoyed it I'll definitely do it again, 
the Pilos on board the Magic, if I ever that can have to go back on that one, or other restaurants and other ships. I think I like that type of stuff, so yeah. So I guess to wrap it up then, we can choose out of 10, like give it a rating out of 10. Okay, okay. You gonna go first? Mm -hmm. So I was gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Okay. There wasn't anything particularly wrong with it and I did enjoy it. Um, I've eaten at nicer places, like maybe not fancier, <laughs> but like I've enjoyed food more than I did there okay. before. Um, not saying it was bad, I just, there's been nicer food experiences. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think that maybe knocked it down and nothing was particularly wow. Okay. Nothing was bad, everything was nice, but nothing was wow. Okay, cool. I'm going for 9 out of 10. Um, I really enjoyed it, it was amazing, the food was lovely, um, I just think we were full up on that particular day, perhaps we didn't get as much out of it than we, we should have done, um, the, how much food and that because we didn't want as much food that, on that particular day, so on a longer cruise maybe we would have enjoyed, tried more stuff, mm -hmm. um, but it was amazing, 9 out of 10, um, the only thing that for me would have knocked it up to a 10 would have been the desserts because I'm not really big on desserts but desserts what they had on the menu wasn't my cup of tea that was it yeah. but everything else was amazing yeah so let us know down in the comments below if you've tried one of these paid dining experiences yep. on board a ship particularly if it's a different one or if you've enjoyed Paolo's obviously we want to hear about absolutely. it absolutely but if you've tried one of the different ones let us know what that was like down in the comments below and thank you so much for watching we hope you've enjoyed it if you have please don't forget to hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one absolutely thanks for watching guys take care bye, bye.